Mike Reeves with Saluki Hall of Famer Sandy Blaha. Sandy, welcome. Thank you. Great what's to this, be back. What's this mean to you to be a Hall of Famer now? It's an incredible honor, and there's so many great athletes that are in the, the Hall of Fame that uh, I, I truthfully thought I was being punked. <laughs> I really did uh, when I received the call. Uh, uh, my resume, uh, we have so many great athletes that have come through SIU, particularly during my era. Mm -hmm. I think we had a lot of national champions, gymnastics, mm -hmm. and a lot of different roles. And uh, so to be honored is a wonderful experience for me. I love SIU. You are just the sixth women's golfer. You competed in the mid-70s. Did yes. you think... You know what? It's been so long. Uh, maybe the Hall of Fame is not going to be possible, and no. I've been forgotten. Actually, I did. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a time when women's athletics was changing. Uh, 1970 to 74, I was involved in the intercollegiate side as an undergraduate, and Title IX, of course, occurred in 1972. So uh, there were a lot of changes that were going on at the time. Women's athletics was. Uh, not to say under budgeted, but perhaps <laughs> a little bit slim in, in our budget. So um, we had a, a good team. Uh, we had a good, uh, I think, uh, golf team at the time. But truthfully, to think that I would ever be in the Hall of Fame, I, it did not cross my mind. What was your best year as a golfer? You know, I think my most memorable year probably was uh, my junior year and uh, a trip that we took actually with the men's team. And we flew out to the University of Georgia. We uh, played a dual meet with them. Uh, we beat the University mm -hmm. of Georgia. Uh, I was able to set a course record that day. Had a, a really great time. And uh, we flew back that night. Uh, we also, I think, did well in uh, mm -hmm. several tournaments as a team. I believe that was the year that I won the uh, Illinois State University Invitational that they had. So I think probably my junior year was mm -hmm. uh, my best year. In addition to being a golfer, <coughs> you played four other sports. I did. Uh, that was common for, for athletes at that time, right? It was. Women were not allowed to have scholarships at that time. We were allowed to have participation awards. And in order to get that tuition and fees paid, we had to play more than one sport. And it was uh, three, I believe. So we had a fall and a, mm. a spring season in golf. So I thought uh, volleyball, basketball, and then field hockey, which was something I'd never been involved in. <laughs> so uh, yes, I did play several sports. What <coughs> if you were just able to concentrate on golf? How might your life be different, if at all? Actually, it, it may have been different. Uh, I had the opportunity as a senior. I had a sponsor who was willing to sponsor me on uh, the tour. Um, my father was extremely anxious for me to do that and I decided to go back and get my master's degree mm -hmm. so I, I decided to stay at Southern and I have to say he was not happy with me <laughs> that I was going to continue my education um, but I'm very pleased with the direction that my life has taken. Golf was a very important part of it. I still love it. I don't play as much as I, I would like to, uh, but I also don't think that I had that passion, you know, to mm -hmm. go ahead and, and travel. I'm, I'm a homebody. I, I love to play competitive golf and would still do it now, but uh, I'm happy with the way my life turned out. You became an assistant coach right after you finished playing, then yes. later the head coach within a couple of years. What was it like to coach the team you played for so soon after you played? It was a little difficult. Yeah. Uh, it's always difficult when you're trying to move into a role that is a head role when you've uh, worked with your peers uh, and been on the team with them. So there were some difficulties just because of the personalities, and it was a little bit of a difficult situation. Uh, but I was able to recruit a couple of good, uh, actually, players at that time. Sandy Lemon, who I believe yes. is in the Hall yes. of Fame, mm -hmm. uh, was uh, my first recruit that I was uh, <coughs> truly proud to, to get. So uh, a after a couple of the teammates that I had been members with uh, were gone and graduated, it became a little bit easier for me. It was just a mm -hmm. difficult transition when you're a teammate one day sure. and a head coach the next. But Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thanks for the time. It. You're welcome. Saluki Hall of Famer, Sandy Blaha.